Hello, my name is Lena, and welcome back to my channel. Let's talk ebooks. One of my goals for this year was to read at least 12 ebooks. It's almost halfway through the year, like there's one month left and we're halfway. And now I have only read one ebook. So, I decided to make a list of 11 ebooks to read by the end of the year. Kind of ebook TBR, little one. I have a lot of ebooks, but I made a list, a little piece of paper. I don't know how I'm gonna stick it into my reading journal, but I have lists for other things and I love like coloring them in when I have read the books. So I decided to make the list for ebooks so I can color in. Maybe that will motivate me to actually pick up some ebooks. I have them all in a folder on my Kindle and we're gonna go through them. There are like no specific order or why I chose them. Some are because I want to read them, some are because they have been on my Kindle for a really long time. Mostly I don't know what those books are about. Some I just liked the cover, so a lot of different reasons. So let's talk about the 10 no, not 10, 11 ebooks I have chosen for myself to read by the end of 2021. The first book on my list is War Cross by Mary Lou. I know that it is a sci-fi, I think, and it was something, has something to do with games, like virtual reality, I think. Then number two is Doing It. Let's talk about sex by Hannah Witten. She is a YouTuber and I've been like subscribing and following her for quite some time and I got the ebook. I might have even gotten it like pre-ordered it, I think, but I'm not sure. I think I did that, but who knows. And it is a non-fiction, of course, and I hope I'm gonna like it. It's about sex. That's all I know. <laughs> it's kind of in the title. And book number three is Dear Martin by Nick Stone. This one I have had for a really long time too, and I have heard a lot of good things about it. But I can't really say what it is about, because I don't know. The next one is Queen of Geeks by Jen Wilde. I really like the, tit the title, the cover. It's pink, at least the one I have. It is pink and... The next one is How to Make a Wish by Ashley Herring Blake. I think this was a YA contemporary with a female-female romance. I think. I might be wrong, but I think it is that. And I've been inter interested in it for a while, so finally. I need to read it. The next on my list is The Astonishing Color of After by Emily XR Pan. This was on my, I don't know, February TBR or what, but I didn't get to it, so I put it on this list. This is the only book that's been on my TBR this year and I haven't gotten to it. Like, that's an ebook. And it dealt, deals with grief. That's kind of all I remember. Next, I have Hopeless by Colin Hoover. I have read some books by Colin Hoover and I have enjoyed them, but yeah, so I want to read more. We'll see how I like this one. The next one is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. This is a YA contemporary that has to do with a character who draws comics, I think, and then she befriends one of her fans. I don't know if she knows that he or she, I don't know what like genders are the characters, but yeah, I think it's like their relationship. Next, I have Cold Snap by Maki Santiago. He is a part of a booktube channel. Alexa loves books, I think. They're wife and husband and wife and I really enjoy their channel. And last year, I think he published this book and I decided to get it and I finally need to read it. It's a sci-fi 
some kind of retelling, I think, Snow White or something. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a sci-fi. The next one is Love and Other Things by Christina C. Jones. And for a change, this is an adult romance. I have multiple books by this author, so I decided to put her on the list and just chose the one that I felt like the title speaks to me. But, and the last one is When the Moon Was Ours by Anne-Marie McLemore. I've been wanting to read their works for a really long time and this is the book I have, so I'm gonna read it. I hope I'm gonna like it. We'll see. Those were the 11 books that are on my TBR list. Now I need to remember and include them in my monthly TBRs. We'll see how that goes. Wish me luck. Please let me know. Do you read ebooks? Do you like reading ebooks or do you forget about them like I do? I have a Kindle. I have a lot of ebooks, like hundreds of ebooks, but I tend to forget because they are here. I don't see them all the time like I see my physical books. So that's why I tend to forget about them. But I enjoy reading like that you don't have to sit up. I can lay in bed and read my ebook. That's what I like. But usually I fall asleep if I do that in the evenings. But that's not the point of this video. So yeah, I shared books. You can let me know if you have read any of these. What do you thought about them? Wish me luck. Let's hope I'm gonna read them all by the end of the year. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next one. Bye! Then I have Cold Snap by Maki Santiago. He is a part of a booktube channel. What was the title name of it? Alexa and her books. Alexa loves books.